right back on folks. I've had a little pit stop here for a minute. Had a drink. I think I've had a banana. Yeah, I think I had a banana. Um, a drink of hot water. <sighs> and got my breath back after walking through the field full of cows but there that says there's a woman walking across now but the cows are busy with the hay so there's no way they're going to be moving away from that so she better walk across there with ease i met another couple who came that way they said there's no cows down there but oh yeah that's what i was going to do check the time to see how we're doing for time that's right when i got to this gate I had to make a decision about because the zip went on my coat a minute ago that took me 10 minutes sorting that out and then the camera's playing up Kodak and um, I'm trying to find the camera yeah I met a couple going that way they're going through the reserve I don't want to go down Cheddar Gorge. Isn't it? I've got my hands over there three for hours. This will be all very hickledy pickledy, by the way. I mean, the last video I did on here, right? The last video I did on here. It was me, heavy breathing, doing um, a diversion around a, what looked like a very curious herd. But what it was, they weren't really interested in me. They heard the farmer coming in his jeep with hay. Because they all stopped and started staring. And I thought, God, they're all staring at me. They're going to start coming over. Then I thought, they're not staring at me. And... Um, They're not staring at me. Anyway, that's on. That's another video on here. Now this is a drove, Middle something drove. It's called not Middleton, but Middle something. And uh, I've always said I love this drove. So what I thought I might do. Oh, my nose is running now. Oh. Um. Right, let's get back on track now. We've blown our nose, we've had a drink, we've had a banana. I've got more food in my pocket, ready to nibble. We've had to charge up the Kodak, which isn't charging at the moment because the lead just swung out of control. Oh, actually it's on, isn't it? Oh, I tell you, I'm having so much trouble with the Kodak. It's not a reliable camera anymore. Let's turn it off a minute. I don't know if it's charging. When I was fiddling with the mobile, um, the battery started swinging on the end of the lead. So I can't take any pictures at the moment, folks. But I have done brilliant recordings of this walk before.
Yeah, I've got three and a half hours. So as, if I went down that way now, I'd be back at, well, I, I'd, I'd probably still take two hours. So I'm going up this way a bit. Because I'm looking out to see if there's cows out there. I haven't decided what to do yet. Yeah, it's hard to know. My eyes aren't as good as they used to be. I can see a, a horse. I haven't decided whether to go. What I'm going to do is just have a walk up here. Look at this lovely views. Let's see if this will work again. Might be able to see if there's any cows in there. So here we are, the beautiful countryside. I was partly over that way um, I was partly over that way a week or so ago I can see lots of ponies I think of what I'll do Somebody coming this way now I haven't decided what to do yet well, So I think I'll go back there I think I will go this way I'll tell you why Because um, I had thought about doing this way first So because very soon you won't be able to do it, it'll be too muddy and it does take about an hour by the time you get to that little hamlet Bradley something um, what happens is um, it take you an hour from there to get back to Cheddar so I'm going to enjoy this bit I think over and out Somebody coming. Right, I was just taking a picture of the beautiful sky there, a bit of a moon showing. Just met two lo happy ladies going along. One, one of them reminded me of my George, and the other one reminded me of my sister Val. I tell you, since New Year, I've not had a drink of uh, Prosecco. Not that I drank a lot anyway, but I used to have like a, I used to have, I was getting to a stage where I was having one small bottle every dinner time. Sometimes two. So I decided to knock it on the head for a while. And do you know what? I've actually got more energy since I stopped because it was, I think, you know, being 70 odd now, drinking a, a, two bo small bottles, I've got very miniature bottles of uh, Prosecco every day. Um, probably is a bit too much now for the liver. So um, I've noticed since I stopped, after about a week, I started to get my evening energy back because I was dozing off in a chair all the time. 
and um, I was getting a few twinges in the pancreas area so I do listen to my body I'm one of those people that's in tune in tune with the body so basically that's what happened now I got a good picture of Glastonbury Tour for here so I'm just gonna put the camera down a minute I want to get up here just want to put the camera up uh, sort of there a minute while I take a picture of Glastonbury and of course it, with it being silly the camera it's not really zooming in anymore it might take it might have taken a picture of it I really miss a viewfinder, you know. Really miss a viewfinder. That one video, or not? What's that one doing? Oh yeah, that one's doing it. Zoom into Glastonbury again. Hi hey, again! Hi! You, you got through alright, you've seen they're still munching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Right, well, I haven't gone very far, I've only gone a couple of hundred yards. <laughs> so beautiful I can't stop videoing and taking photos when you've been stuck in a lot <sighs> yeah it's a lovely day it's so gorgeous everything looks so different every blade of grass Glastonbury looks a little bit in the shade over there but um, the sheep are happy the cows are happy people are happy <sighs> It makes such a difference to your world. Because if you go on, if I now talk about what's going on in the world, which I do sometimes, it's not looking so good. They're actually telling us to prepare for a world war. I mean, I'm gonna have to start buying those tins, um, which I might do. I don't know, everything costs money. You can't, if, you can't get a load of tins anymore now. It costs sometimes too good for a tin of beans. You know? So, uh, I do need to top up, really. I always used to keep a, a box with supplies in for an emergency, and then every year I'd, you know, I'd update it, of course, and eat everything. Um, I ought to do that again, really. Because um, I don't, I tend to live from hand to mouth you know basically I go out and shop every two days because I live I can't keep a lot in my in my kitchen but I'm not going into all that now but um yeah I don't really top up because it's just me I like to buy fresh veg anyway I don't want to keep eating frozen peas you know what I mean and I, and a lot of people just fill their freezers up with junk tell the truth Right, another picture to be taken. Wait a minute. I'm hoping this camera is going to work in a minute. All right, so here we are at a gate. I haven't got a clue. I think the video will be, will be very poor because I'm jumping around a lot. at the moment. There's a 
There's a big herd over there. I think they can get down. I mean, I am hoping... I am hoping that I can use my camera in a minute for video. This camera, that this Kodak. It only lasts about an hour and then it just doesn't like working. It's very, very lazy. I've got the charger on it. I don't know if it's charging though. Look at that lovely scene though, everyone. Looks like it's taking pictures, but it's, there's something wrong with it. There's like a, a circular, half circular image that keeps coming up on the screen. I haven't, got, I haven't got a clue what's wrong with that. I do need a new camera. This little Sony's brilliant, but it won't take photos. They come out white. I suspect it needs the settings redone. I don't know. I ought to put fiddle with it and reset it, really. I keep saying that. I bought another camera, that's gone strange, that AGFA. Um, it's still working, but the lens is wobbling around. Something fell out of it the other week, like a bit of thin paper in a circle. That was probably like acting as a washer for the lens or something. So... It is still working, but... It was never very good anyway. Pixels, not very good. <sighs> she could have gone back through there, couldn't she? Back to the village. Won't be surprised. Now, I haven't done this walk for ages. And quite often, this is um, a very, very heavily cowed field. This one. I can see that all the cows. Uh, now, the cows up there could be very close to where I would have gone if I'd done the other walk up on the little outcrop that I do um, they could have been up near there big black cows up there but so I don't think I'm not sure if they can get into this field at the moment there's no sign of pack here Yeah, I'm, what I'm doing at the moment, I'm balancing two cameras. I'm holding the Kodak very still. And the, the Sony's moving, not always focused. I'm, I'm going to try and, I'm hoping I can use the video on, to go down this bit in a minute, on the Kodak. But it is handy for taking photos, so... I'm doing a bit of both at the moment. And I'm not rushing at all because I know that um that's right, let me turn off a minute. Turn off, turning off.